Can we truly measure time? We set our clocks, plan our calendars, and believe that everything follows a chronology. But are we really measuring time itself, or are we just creating symbols to understand it? Modern science reveals that time is not as straightforward as we initially think. In Newton's classical physics, time was like a river flowing at the same speed everywhere in the universe. However, in the 20th century, Einstein emerged with his theory of relativity, demonstrating that time is flexible, changing in relation to speed and gravity. An astronaut traveling close to the speed of light could age much more slowly than people on Earth. This is not science fiction. It has been proven through experiments. Atomic clocks are today's most precise tools for measuring time. These clocks count the vibrations of atoms to define a second. If you started an atomic clock and waited one year on Earth, the error would be only a tenth of a second. But note, this measurement is based on the behavior of atoms, not time itself. In other words, we are expressing the rhythm of nature through symbols according to our own reference system. Time is not only a physical concept, it is also a mental experience. Waiting for an hour can feel endless, while an hour spent with a loved one can pass in the blink of an eye. Our brains use environmental cues and memory to perceive the duration of time. Therefore, time is both a universal measure and a personal experience. As humans, when we try to measure time, we are actually trying to make sense of the past, the present, and the future. Our clocks and calendars are simply tools for this understanding. Time itself neither stops nor speeds up. We merely perceive it. If you found this video interesting, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share it with your friends. Together, we can explore the mysteries of time even more deeply.